All right, welcome back to the channel. This is Model Rocks 321. Subscribe to the channel, thumb up the video, drop a comment. This video I think you may find helpful if you're getting into the hobby, even if you've been into the hobby for a while and you're a collector or you know you just like to build and fly. But this is just a video on some rockets and some items that I think will be collectible or super collectible or already collectible as of right now. Um, oh yeah, and shout out to Estes. Thanks for sending me this hat to hook me up with this. Real dope. Thank you guys, appreciate it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna dive right into this. This just have some random stuff and I'm gonna do two unboxings on screen right now and show you guys a couple more things that I think are super collectible or gonna be collectible. So we're gonna start off with this right here. I had this rocket. This is the Estes Falcon 9. Um, I had this, I bought this when it came out, you know, some months ago. This is still sealed. I mean, I know I fly most, but this one I'm gonna leave sealed. Thanks to Kevin, you flew yours. <laughs> so I now don't have to fly mine. So I'm gonna leave this one. This is gonna just be one of my collectibles right here. Um, it's one 100 scale with the Dragon cruise ship on top. Falcon 9, big, tough, super duty body. Got the SpaceX branding on there along with the Estes branding. Um, they just did a great job. This little slide box, and this is all like a shiny, this is the uh, plastic that it's sealed in also. Great, great kit. They really killed it with this. They did a great job. Um, and it's all like the rocket's already built, but it's it lays inside a foam. <clears throat> Just a great job. And it has a display stand. Great job. Estes, you killed it with this. You knocked it out the park. This is a great one. Um, so if you guys collect, this is a it's a hundred plus dollar rocket. So if you fly it, you know, just know you're flying a hundred dollar rocket, or if you're gonna collect it, just know you got a good collectible. If you, I feel this one, I, I fly most, as you know, I fly them all, no shelf queens, but this one will be a shelf king. I'm gonna leave this one sealed and probably not gonna fly it. Unless I get a wild hair and something to say, hey, unpack it, go fly it that day. That's the only way. But other than that, this one is one of my collectibles that I'm gonna keep. Um, this one of my Estes kit, I, I bought this one. Um, I don't think you can use the discount code you see the code on the screen. Um, you guys can put that in on most Estes items. And the way you do that is you go to your shopping cart, whatever you're going to add to your cart at Estes, you'll go through the checkout and you'll see a little window that says apply code. Put the code in there, I-N-U underscore three, two, one, hit apply, and then you'll see a discount. So that's how that works in case anybody's wondering how it works. But if you order and use that count from, um, from me. So SpaceX, that's the first thing I wanted to show you guys. And we're going to keep this going. Next collectible thing, it's not an SD, but it's a Dr. Zooch. This is my Saturn 1 Block 2 Dr. Zooch. Dr. Zooch kits, they're not being produced anymore, I don't think. Um, you can't find these. If you can find one, get yourself a Dr. Zooch um, at a decent price if you can find it at a good price. This is mine from years ago. If you've seen any of my previous videos, I actually sold this rocket years ago. And um, I recently, within the past few months, I found it again on eBay. So this is my Dr. Zooch Peanut Scale Saturn one block two so dr zooch kits are um some good collectibles also they always come in this white box they put the diagram get the building instructions you have to build these too so it's um fairly it takes some skills i don't know what skill level they don't i put them at like a skill level i'd probably go skill level three or four um because you have to do some different some techniques that aren't normally used in like the standard Estes kits, it's a little different when you build these guys, but super collectible rockets on Dr. Zoot stuff. You can search around for those and see at their prices. They kind of go, they up there a little bit. So just another one, if you have them, you may want to either sell it or keep it. But the Dr. Zooch, um stuff, you can get, they have all the Saturns and the Apollo. They have, they did a good job. So the Dr. Zooch is another um, collectible one. Um, then we're going to keep it moving. Let's go with this. This is the Estes. No, no, this was the Quest, but you can get the Estes um, Nike Smoke Scale Rocket. Super stable design, great, great rocket to fly. I recently had some trouble with mine, but great rockets. Nice scale model. They, they upscale to you. They're big versions of this. Just, they're just proven, a proven design. So can't go wrong with the Nike Smoke. Check the link below. There should be a link for one of these. You can get a decent price. These are out of production, actually, but that link below, there's a few still hanging around, so... If you want to get one um take advantage of that don't let them go away completely and the other thing this video is about getting stuff i have links where you can still get some of this stuff that's going to be classic or going to go out of production and become classic and the price is going to fly up on ebay so get it now while you can so nike smokes another one and one of the new classics the next rocket i have up is the orange bullet this is a Vern Estes design. You can see a picture of Vern right there. This is part of the Signature Series. I really like the Signature Series. 
It's called the Orange Bullet. It's a small little rocket. It's like 5.9 inches tall, like 0.74 um, diameter. Very small tube, small rocket, but I believe this is gonna become a classic, classic. When this goes out of production, guys, get yourself one of these Orange Bullets. Um, check the links below. I may have it on there also. Get an Orange Bullet. Like, just put this in the collection. They're, they're reasonably priced, super cheap. You can, you know, get one to build and you can just have one in a stash or get a couple of them. So, the orange bullet. That's the next one I have on the list. And we're going to move to something. This, get this book, guys. Do not waste your time. Um, I drop a lot of tips and tricks, but I still refer to this book quite often. The best book you can get on rocketry outside of like Model Rocket, I mean, uh, uh, Rocket to the World by Peter Hallway. <clears throat> They're the high power to book how to um, do your high power stuff. But the handbook, G. H. Stein, Gary H. Stein, or Harry Stein, G. Harry Stein, sorry, and Bill Stein. This is the uh, seventh edition. Um, get this book, guys. It's, it's it's all in there. Everything you need to know from staging to launch ride, launch angles, to launch controllers, to building techniques, to filling for everything you need to know is in this book. Link below. Check the description. Straight to it, get yourself one of these. The best price I can find. I'm just searching around and I'm um, trying to help you guys with finding some stuff um, in some of my videos. So get yourself one of these. Um, the Handbook of Modern Rock can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Must have if you're building a flying rocket. Um, we're going to go to this. Let's go to, we're going to go to this right here. You know what? We're going to go with this X Wing Fighter, the Estes version. It came as a starter set. I think they had some as kits in this scale. Um, I don't know. I forget what scale this is. Not the Maxi Brew. Maxi Brew is the big one, which I do have. Super collectible, that's another one. But if you can track one of these down at a good price on eBay, it's typically an all plastic kit, but it has a tube in the inside, so it's pretty nice. Kind of on the fragile side, but they fly on 18 millimeter like a C engine, and this one, they are super cool. So if you can track one of these down at a good price, can't go wrong with a Star Wars X-Wing Fighter, um, parachute recovery, you know, 12 inch parachute or whatever. But I would recommend if you can get something bigger in there, like a Mylar, I think Mylar, you can package pack those down a little smaller. I go with 18 inch Mylar because you just don't want any um, any damage. This stuff is kind of fragile, but great, great rockets. If you can track down one of these Estes X-Wing fighters in this scale, whatever scale this is, I forget, but find yourself one. Get yourself one of these guys. Modern Rockets, three, two, one. Subscribe, keep subscribing, subscribe, subscribe. Let's move on to um, the Apogee 2. Like, now we're getting into some vintage stuff. The price on these things will be a, a lot higher than anything else I've shown you so far, um, for the most part. Maybe close to the in $100 plus mark. But if you can track down any of these blue labels, vintage face card rockets by Estes in the package and it's cheap, I recommend grabbing them. Um, and I'm getting stuff because I want to actually build and fly these. I don't want to just keep them in this package. I know a lot of people are like, oh no, I'll frame this card, but... I want to build some of this stuff because just sitting in the package, you know, unless you're not planning on selling it, you can get some, you know, you can sell it and make a nice little chunk of money. But I actually want to see some of these flags. I like the design. Some of them are very cool. Very cool from back in the days. I mean, we're talking, this is probably 70s right here. Yeah, this is K5. So late 60s going to the 70s at least. Um, very old kit. Very old kit. I forget the years on this one. But more collectible stuff. Any of the vintage SDs, blue label, collectible. Can't go wrong. Um, keeping it moving right along, let's go with the Antar. This is a newer rocket by Estes, and this was a this was a Stein. Another, this was a Gary Stein or a Harry Stein design. Great design. I love this rocket. Um, I'm waiting to get around to building it. I'm working on Jupiter C, and I got the X15 and stuff that I'm building. I got some repairs now, as if you saw my last one of my early my latest uh, launch videos with some crashes. Getting into some build and this is on the build list i want to fly this rocket right here so if you can get yourself one of these signature series the whole signature series i believe is going to be uh super collectible when they go out of production these things people are going to want these like that's the thing people wait and they don't get them now they let them go out of production and then they want them but you can go to sd's and get one you can use my code or you can go to the link below grab one however get yourself an antar antar Signature series, can't go wrong. I got a feeling like those are gonna be super collectible in the next few years. Um, next up, let's move to the SpaceX Falcon 9 and Fairing. Now this was by SpaceX. This rocket came out some years ago. I'm thinking 2000, I always forget, 2000, 
11, 12, somewhere back there. Falcon 9 came out by SpaceX. It's all by SpaceX. It's not an Estes kit. But these, if you can find one cheap, grab one. If you can find one cheap, grab one. Check my links below. If I locate a link, I'll put it down below. You guys can get this stuff easy. But this is Falcon 9 with the fairing. I already showed you the big Falcon 9 with the uh, Crew Dragon, Dragon ship on top. But yeah, grab yourself one of these if you can find. Um, so, another collectible. And I plan on flying one of these too. I think I have, I have another one of these, if I'm not mistaken, already open. So I'd like to fly one of these. Um, it'll be cool, pretty cool. And um, definitely not last and not least, the Alpha 3 in any form. That red and white version. This is just my personal opinion. I don't know the collectability on it, but it's just a great rocket. That Falcon, I mean the Alpha 3. Alpha 3, this is the Alpha 3 starter set, like complete starter set, still sealed. Um, can't go wrong with the Alpha 3 rocket. And I'm gonna give a warning, they got skill level one, this is skill level one rocket, but be careful guys. If you launch this on a C engine, make sure you have your act together because these things, they disappear. They go really high, really fast. So just keep an eye on it, it's Alpha 3. Um, this is vintage too, so it's a classic. It's a classic one right there. And we're gonna move right along to the Blue Sapphire, which we all know the craze SD300, I mean, 65th anniversary rocket, the Blue Sapphire, limited to 300, sold out like immediately. Sold out immediately, you couldn't get them. So, and if you, this is gonna be a top one, 65th anniversary is always legend, 65th birthdays are legend. It's that number, that's that retirement number, this is that, that big number. So, but these were limited to 300, which is not a lot. Um, they went out of production. I mean, they're just, it was just a one and done run. I'm not sure if they're gonna bring them back, but Blue Sapphire, if you could track one down cheap. I was blessed enough and thankful for the person that sent me this rocket right here. Man, it sent me the whole, it came in the bag, whole deal with the sticker and some other stuff. So very cool. I don't know if I showed you that or not, but 65th anniversary bag, it says it right there. The rocket was in the bag like that. And since it's in the bag, I'm gonna take this one off screen. It was a little, it's like a little drawstring bag. It's real cool, real cool. That's this. So moving right along, another signature series. Another signature. This one was by Bill Simon, and it's the Boss. I actually helped work this kit when I first, as these reached out to me. We uh, did a giveaway for this. Um, the Boss, another one. I like it. I love the design on this. I'm going to get around to building it at some point. It's just lower on the list right now because I have the Antar. I'm building the vintage Jupiter C. Um, I'm fixing up the X Wing fight. I mean, X, X 15, I had a crash, so I'm just redoing that and some other builds. But the Boss, another one I think is going to become collectible part of that signature series. Like all of them, I think all that signature series is going to be good. So, guys, if you can get yourself some signature series stuff um, and just put them in a stash or build them and you'll have yours because once they go away you know how it goes on ebay they'll be triple and double what they cost now so that is that guys we're going to keep this moving along i have two unboxings i'm going to go ahead and show you guys these two unboxings right now so let's get to it so this first unboxing is from a link below it's the amazon link for what you're about to see right here just stay tuned i don't want to go too deep with this cut Check this out, super duper price, super collectible rocket. Guys, I highly recommend getting what you're seeing right here. One of my all time favorite rockets. I love the Little Joe 2, but I also love the Little Joe 1. This deal was so good I had to get two. Link below, look at that tube is a little bit warped, but all that's fixable. They kind of crushed them in there, which, man, that's kind of, that's not great, but that's easily fixed. That's easily fixed. Two Little Joe 2s, these are $14 each. Like the cone alone or the capsule alone is probably that price. So I couldn't pass up this deal. The link is below. I recommend probably ordering just one and then doing another order because I see my tubes, they kind of put them in there. That's not the best, that's not the best packaging, but this is easily fixed. It's not creased. You can get that shape back. There are ways to get that shape back, but can't pass up the Little Joe 2. Where's my scrap? Here's my... This is my scratch built Lojo 2. Very similar. This is built from the Yitta Wu plans. Um, very similar. Great flyer. I have mine where booster and cone come down separate. You've probably seen flights of this. Super successful launcher and flyer. Super stable. Love it. But I grabbed two. Had to get two. I mean, I probably end up wind up building another one. Um, just just for kicks. Not yet though. You see that cone, the capsule there. Got all your parts in there. Good deal. Good deal. Like I said, I don't like that warp tube though. That's not that's not a good look. They gotta package better. They need a little, little more space, these tubes. That's not 
that's not good. But overall, order one and then place another order for another one I recommend. Just to save space so you know, they're not wedging them in there. I'm not sure if they, let me see how they're in there. See that they have room, I don't know if it came now, I'm kinda, I don't know. There's a little space there, it seemed like that should've been fine, but they should've did a little better. But for what it is, still a great deal. And two, easily easily put, replaced, easily fixed. I think that's a BT-70. It's not a BT-80, but I don't think it's a BT-80. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a BT-80 is a little bit bigger than that. So that's probably a BT-70. But Lil' Joe 2, you can't go wrong. Let's get to this next unboxing. Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise. We have a package from Launch Lab. <clears throat> Guys, if you don't know Launch Lab Rocketry, be sure to check out Launch Lab Rocketry. The good guy Steve over there has a bunch of good, good stuff. A lot of vintage, a lot of new, new old classics. Some um, rockets are out of production. Some good ones over there too. So Launch Lab always delivers. This is a phenomenal rocket right here. I believe it's open box, but I couldn't pass up the deal. So let's check this out right here. So I'm gonna get this open. Oh, look at the oh yeah, yeah. Steve always throws in the always throws in the sugar. <laughs> Shout out to sweet Steve at Launch Lab Rocketry. Launch Lab is doing a good job. He has some nice stuff. Oh yeah, this was part oh yeah, the sticker. I collect uh, these stickers. I collect stickers and I collect all the launch labs there. I have a bunch of these now from all the orders. He always throw one of these in. You always throw in a few bucks, a few rocket bucks you can use again. This is for the month of May. So, good deal right there. And for buying this kit, there was a gnome thrown in. I had the classic gnome. I remember flying that and losing it in a yard back in Jersey, and I could not get it from this house. I knocked on the door. They said, no, rocket came down. I knew it was right in their yard, and they wouldn't let me get it. But what a shame. But anyway, I have another gnome again. I remember the classic one, the white body, green fins, red cone. Uh, classic thanks Steve for that and we're gonna move this out and you already see what I have in store let me get this out of here right now look at that Saturn 1B the vintage Estes one and now we're talking about collectible stuff so this one here is an open box complete I believe Steve made in USA the classic striped black and gray box yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody's opened this up several times, never got around to building it. <laughs> wow, parts are all, look like they're all in there. Plastic, wow, that's cleaned up. Look at that, nice and clean. Multiple parachutes, look at those metal rings for the nose weight, I'm sure. There we go, man, there we go, all the tubes. Oh yeah, this is perfect condition, like perfect. This is what you want. This is how the little Joe 2 bodies should have been. But, you know, there was easily replaced and easily fixable. But for that price, you know, yeah, here we have nozzles. Yeah, just a super kit, man. Super. Everything's here. Building instructions. I see the capsule. There's the capsule right there. It goes up top. Yeah, instructions are there. The base of the capsule. Oh, the rings. The bearing. Now, I don't forget what this part is called. This is where your tubes will all go in. Nice, nice kit, man. Nice kit. Nice. All the building instructions. I see more paper and some fins like some fins came loose so these are those kind of fins where you glue them in the halves yeah look at they're already cut so just mate those together and we are doing good man this is this is great this is good stuff right here good to see thanks steve for this for providing this wonderful kit so there you have it guys model rocks 321 i'm gonna get this stuff put away just wanted to share some collectible stuff with you. Check links below. You'll see some stuff you may want. I kind of sourced around for some decent prices. I mean, a lot of Amazon stuff. I'm surprised that, you know, on Amazon you can you can find some good things. So go ahead and click the links. Get yourself something. Look at that Saturn 1B. This is the one engine version. I really would like to fly it on a cluster. That would be cool. But we'll leave it as stock whenever I get around to it. I want to build this. I want to build this. Guys, it's my Rock Street 2 one Subscribe to the channel, hit the thumb up button, hit the thumb up button, drop a comment, support the channel any way you can, check those links below, go get some of this cool stuff, collectible stuff, and this is Model Rock 321, and we will see you on another video, and I'm out.